Welcome! In this video tutorial, we want to show you how to scrape a list of keywords on a sample website. Click on the New Project button and enter the URL that you would like to scrape. I would like to scrape Etsy for this example. Click on the Start Project on this URL button. Parser will load the website and it will start a project on the left side panel. Once you start a project, you are on the select mode and you can select any element that you would like to scrape. Since we want to scrape a list of keywords, we need to first define this list on Parsec. Go to the settings tab. Under the settings tab, we have the starting value field that you can enter your URL in. The format that we use on Parsec is the JSON column arrays. You can convert your CSV files to JSON column arrays on the Mr. Data Converter website. I will provide the URL under this video tutorial. You can copy the data from your CSV file and enter it here. I copied my list of keywords from my CSV file and I'm going to paste it here as an input. The first line is the name of the list, keywords, and the second line is the first keyword, which is rings. And as you can see, the rest of the keywords are listed in different lines. The format that we use on Parsab is JSON column array. Change the output by clicking on the drop-down and choose the JSON column arrays format. Now you can copy this list and enter it under the starting value. As you can see, we have the name, which is the keyword, the name of the list, and then we have the keywords inside this list. Copy the whole thing and paste it under the starting value. Now we can go back to the Commands tab and continue building the project on the Etsy website. Click on the Commands tab and go back to the Etsy tab. Now I would like to create a loop on Parsab to tell Parsab repeat these commands for all of my items in my keywords list. Click on the plus button next to the select page and go to the advanced options. Choose loop. On this command, you can call the list that we just created. Right now it says for each item and list. You can leave the item as is and enter the name of the list here. My name of the list was keywords. Now any command that you would like to repeat for these keywords will be nested under this loop command. Now I would like to create a list for my keywords results. Click on the plus button next to the loop and go to advance. Choose the begin new entry command. You can rename this to results. I would also like to scrape each keyword from my list along with my results to be able to see which keyword produced those items. Click on the plus button next to the begin new entry and go to the advanced options. Choose the extract command. You can rename this to keyword. Now here you would like to scrape one of the items from your list. Therefore you can enter item as the extraction. This will extract each item from your list every time that we are going to execute this loop. Now click on the plus button next to the begin new entry and choose the select command. Select the search field. As you can see, Parsec created an input command automatically for you. I would like to enter one of my items from my list. Therefore, you should change the input type to expression and enter item as an input. During building the project, Parsec will not automatically enter this item on the search field. Therefore, you should go to the browse mode and enter one of the keywords manually. Click on the green select button to go to browse mode and enter one of the keywords. Now click on the plus button next to the begin new entry command and choose the select command. Now I would like to select the search button. Click on it. You can rename it to search. Now click on the plus button next to the search button and choose the click command. Parsec gives you the configuration for this click. It tells you that we are loading a new page with a new URL. Since the structure of the results is different, you want to create a new template for this page. Click on create new template and enter a name for it. I rename it to results. Click on create new template. 
Now parse and load the results for the rings and it will create a new template for you. You have all the products related to rings on this page. Now you can select any element that you would like to scrape. You can start with the product titles. Click on any of them and click on one more product to select more products. If all the products are not selected, you can train parse up on more selections by clicking on them. Now parse up selected all of the 60 products that we have on this page. You can rename the selection to products. Parse up automatically created two other commands for you. One of them is the begin new entry command, which created a list. And the other one is the extract command, which is extracting the name and the URL for you. If you're not interested in the product's URLs, you can remove it. Now I would like to add the price per each product. Click on the plus button next to the begin new entry and choose the relative select to tell Parseup which price corresponds to which product. Click on the product title which is highlighted in orange and go to the relevant price. You can rename the relative select to price. I would like to click on each of these products to load the product's details and scrape some information from the product details page. But before adding a click command to load each products page, I would like to add the pagination scope to this project. Scroll down on the page. We have 250 pages for these results. To load all the pages and scrape the same products from all these pages, you can add the select command to select the next button and click on it. Click on the plus button next to the select page and choose the select command. Select the next button and click on it. You can rename it to next. Now you can add a click command to tell Parseup I would like to click on this next button every time that we load the page. Choose the click command and Parseup gives you the configuration. Since you want to repeat the same template that we already built, you can click on the drop down menu and choose the results template that you would like to repeat and click on go to existing template. Now let's go back to the products and add a click to visit each of these products pages. Click on the plus button next to the begin new entry which belongs to the products list and choose the click command. Since the structure of the products pages are different, you want to create a new template. Enter details and create a new template. Parts of loads the first products page and it also creates a new template for you. Now you are able to add any specific detail that you would like to add per each product. I would like to add the image. I can hover on it and click on it to select it. You can rename it to image. I'm also interested in the overview. Click on the plus button next to a select page to add a new selection. Choose the select command and hover on the overview. If you would like to have all these lines as one single selection, you can zoom out and select the whole container. Hover on one of the lines and hold the command on Mac and Control on Windows and number one to zoom out on these selections. I'm on Mac, so I'm holding the command key and number one to zoom out. Once I see the container that I would like to scrape, I will keep holding the command key and I will leave number one. Now I can click on the selection. You can rename it to overview. If you would like to add more details to these products pages, you can click on the plus button next to the select page and choose the select command and select any other element that you're interested in. Now I would like to test my project. Click on the get data button, click on test run, open the test run and click on the play button. As you can see, we entered the first keyword, which was rings, and we are scraping the products related to rings here. Test run by default will run the project for five pages and it will stop. If you would like to scrape more pages on the test run, you can click on the play button. Now you can run the project on our servers. 
you can click on the stop button to exit the test run now click on the get data button click on run to run the project on our servers once the run is complete and the data is ready you will receive an email and you can come back to the application to download the data or you can use our api to get your data if you need help with your projects feel free to email us at supportedpysap.com. Happy parsing!